Hello and welcome to Paper Plate Julie K. I'm excited to announce that I have been selected as a October 2018 guest designer for the Loaded Envelope Galore and More group on Facebook. This is an awesome Facebook group based on loaded envelopes and swaps. Within this group, I will be hosting a fun and easy swap called the Loaded Library Pocket Trio. And in this video, I will show you um, some of the fun library pockets that I created for this swap along with a brief tutorial tutorial on how to create the base of these library pockets. Full details of the swap and guidelines will be posted in the event section in our Facebook group, so make sure you check it out if you want to participate in this swap. Along with this swap, I'm hosting a fun challenge giveaway in October that is open to Loaded Envelope Galore and more members who participate in the Loaded Library Pocket Trio Swap. And a few more details about this challenge giveaway and the prize that I will be giving out will be um, at the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to find out more information about the challenge giveaway part of it. As many of you guys know, this is what a basic library pocket looks like. Um, it is a little bit smaller. It is three by three by five. And this is kind of what a basic library pocket looks like. And then usually you load it with just a little library um, sign out card. And so what I went ahead and did is created a little bit larger version of this library pocket. And then I also went ahead and added gussets on it. Um, just because for those of us who belong to this loaded envelope galore and more Facebook group, um, we enjoy being able to create items where we can actually load them with things. And so that's why I added some gussets onto my library pocket so that you could very easily stick... Um, wands and tags and envelopes and different things inside of them. So here are my three entries for the swap. Here's the first one, the fall, um, winter, or fall Thanksgiving themed one. And this is the one, if you guys watch the tutorial after I show you these three, um, I just create this green base um, on this tutorial, but I will also post a second video where I actually decorate it. So if you are interested in watching um, how I decorate my process, feel free to watch that second part video. Um, but again, inside of each of these, um, I did put in a tag, a wand, and a little envelope that will have some sort of goodie in here for my swap partner. And then all my envelopes, I did add little magnets to them, and I decorated the front and back sides of each of them. My tags, I do leave the back sides plain, so whoever gets them, they can go ahead and put a to from if they want here, or some sort of note, or use them in a journal. So I do leave my back sides um, plain, but a nice spot that someone can add to it if they want to. So here's the actual library pocket that I created. And then the next theme is, um, Christmas or winter and I went ahead with a Christmas theme again the little envelope There is a magnet in it my wand And the tag that I created And here's the pocket Here is the last one, which was a wild card entry where we can create any theme we want. And so I went with a vintage theme. Here is the wand that I created. The envelope that I created and decorated. And then here's the tag. And here is the library pocket. Again, it does have gussets on it. The supplies that we are using to create the base of our library pocket with gusset include scissors and paper cutter, a bone folder and scoreboard, your favorite glue or adhesive, heavy cardstock, I recommend 110 pound, and you will need to cut one piece to nine and a half by four and a quarter inches and two pieces to three and a half by two inches. 
Okay, the first step is we are going to take our cardstock, and I'm going to be using some green cardstock. And again, this measures nine and a half the length, and then the width is four and a quarter. So I'm going to put it on my scoreboard here. And just going the long way across, I'm going to just score it at six. And then I'm going to fold it. So that's the first step. Next, we're going to take our other pieces of cardstock. And again, I'm just using the same green color. And um, these are going to be our gussets for our library pocket. And these do measure um, three and a half for the the height and two inches for um, the width and so these we're going to again score so we're going to line them up the long way on our scoreboard here so the three and a half is here and the two is up here and we're just going to score um, at the half inch the one inch and the one and a half so you'll have three score lines on these I'm going to do that on both of them. And again, these are for our gussets. And again, I'm just scoring at every half inch. And so for now, we're done with the scoreboard. Okay, so for the next step, again, we folded this one up where we scored it at the six mark and we folded it up. So we have kind of the base of our pocket. Now these ones we're just gonna fold. Kind of like a, like a fan. So now we should have three pieces. So the next step is putting it all together. And so we're gonna take our base and we're gonna add our gussets. And it really doesn't matter which way you attach these inside. You can either do your mountain fold on the outside or on the inside, as long as you do it the same on both sides. And by what I mean by mountain and valley fold, when you look at anything that's folded, you can see here um, this would be a mountain fold and these would be valleys because if you think in real life how mountains are tall and valleys um, go down and so again what, what you want to do now is you're going to want to attach these on the inside and like I said you can either have it where you can see the valley in the middle or you can turn it around where you see the mountain on the top and it doesn't matter um, again just as long as if I decide to do the mountain here I just want to make sure that you can see the mountain on the other side my mountain fold so now if you peek at this real quick I just have these set inside of here I haven't glued them in um, you can see that they hang over just slightly and so what I'm going to do um, before I glue them in is I'm going to go ahead and take a scissors and just snip off just a little bit off the top you guys don't you don't have to measure anything just t just snip off a little bit and then go ahead and try it one more time just lay these pieces in there and for mine I'm choosing to do my mountain um, in my middle fold sticking out if you guys are wondering and you can also some people like to angle um, their bottoms you certainly can do that in your gussets too there's there's no right or wrong so and now um, they don't stick over so I'm going to go with that so now I've opened it up and I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. I like to use the Eileen's Tacky Glue, but you can use whatever glue that you feel comfortable when you're gluing paper to paper. If you want, you could also use some sort of strong tape, um, but that's up to you. So I just put a little bit. And then I'm just lining it up right along the fold right there. And again, I'm just going to close it like that, but I'm going to go ahead and just tape this side down or glue this side down first. And again, you just want to be consistent with how your folds are. I'm just lining it up just a little bit above this fold right here. 
that we scored earlier. And this glue doesn't take too long to to dry, so that's nice about the Eileen's glue. There's enough wiggle room that you can move stuff if it's not lined up perfectly, but and so then the next step is I'm going to go ahead and glue on top of each of these. Again, just a little bit's all you need. And I'm just going to hold them down. And just attach them that way. And that is the basic construction of a library pocket. Now if you were just doing to create a flat library pocket you would just go ahead and you can either cut your um, paper just a little bit bigger and have tabs already put on here and then just glue them down or you can just put a little bit of glue inside of each of these and just lay it flat um, without the gussets but, ag but again we're creating a loaded library pocket and so um, we want the gussets just so we can add a few items inside of our pocket. So that's Don't the forget to watch part two if you are interested in seeing how I decorate this pocket. I'm now going to talk about the giveaway challenge and how you can participate along with the prize package. I want to talk briefly about the giveaway challenge for October in our Loaded Envelope Galore and More group. I will be giving away a prize, this prize right here. And this giveaway does correspond to the Loaded Library Pocket Trio Swap. So to qualify for this giveaway, you do need to participate in the swap. And again, all the information about the swap is posted in our event section in our Facebook group. So you can go ahead there to check out everything that you need to do to qualify to participate in the swap. And then number two, you need to answer the following question and you have to answer this in our Facebook group. So there will be an entry that says October 2018 challenge giveaway. And the question that I'm wanting everyone to answer is name different ways you could reuse or repurpose a loaded library pocket. So you answer that question. And then also if you will read the description when it's posted in our group, um, I do have a little bonus entry that you guys can do, so make sure you look for that. Um, and again, you have to participate in the swap to qualify, but the bonus entry is actually really easy also. So make sure you guys look for that. I'm not going to say what it is right here on YouTube, um, but make sure you look for that in our, um, in our group feed um, for the October 2018 challenge with giveaway. And the challenge giveaway will run from October 1st through the 17th. And I will randomly pick a winner. I'll use like random number picker or random comment picker, one of those types of things um, to pick my winner. And I will go ahead and post a video on October 19th. And so now I'm going to go ahead and get into the prize package that I will be giving away. It's kind of a Christmas themed um, package since we were one of the loaded library pockets that we were creating was Christmas themed. I did decide to go ahead with Christmas coming up and the winner will, will receive this in time that they can go ahead and use it to create something wonderful for Christmas. And so I am giving away this Simple Stories cl Classic Christmas Bits and Pieces. It's kind of an ephemera die cut set. Um, I'll turn it over so you guys can kind of see what all is included in there. I haven't opened it up, so um, it's brand new. So those are all the items that are in this little set. And then to correspond with that, I also have the paper collection that matches it. And again, this is classic Christmas. And again, I haven't opened it up yet, so um, you can kind of see on here the little sam samplings of the paper that's in there. And then the last item that I am giving away is um, the Sizzix Tim Holtz, and these are holiday words die cuts. And so here are all the little um, die cuts that you receive in there. There are 16 dies. 
So that is the prize package that I will be giving away for the challenge giveaway. Um, hopefully you guys like the little package and I really hope that you're all able to participate in the swap because um, it'd be really fun to have a large number of people participating in this swap. First of all, I want to thank the administrative team of Loaded Envelope Glore and more for asking me to guest design this month, especially Robin Pitts, who served Chauncey Rocco Designs here on YouTube. Um, she created that very first intro piece um, that I have on my tutorial today. Um, and then also thank her for her assistance from behind the scenes with answering some questions and helping me out with a few things. But I also want to give a big thank you to all the members of our Facebook group, Loaded Envelope Galore More, for watching my video today. I really appreciate that. And then if you are not part of our Facebook group, I really highly recommend checking our group out. We do all sorts of fun swaps and even like the fun little challenge giveaways where sometimes you have to answer a question or participate in a swap or post a picture. They, they change from change from each one, but they are kind of a fun little side thing that we do in our group. And of course, there's always inspiration all the time with people posting pictures of different loaded envelopes that they've created. So with that being said, I really do hope that you guys um, participate in the swap that I'm hosting and also the giveaway part of it. Uh, in the description box below, I will also leave a link for part two of this video for those of you who are interested in checking out or watching how my creative process and how I decorated my loaded library pocket. And again, this is the pocket that I will be decorating in that video. So if you guys want to pop over and watch that, I would really appreciate it. Um, but again, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and happy crafting.